In this tutorial today, we shall be learning how to format tables to get started and we'll be demonstrating how to insert table using this document as an example. So put your cursor where you want the table to be. In this tutorial, I shall be inserting two tables. So I go to insert tab, select tables, click on the drop down. I put my cursor on this first box and drag it to the number of rows I want. Then I bring it to the number of columns I want it to be as well. The next method of adding table is to go to insert tab, click on the drop down, then select insert tables. This will open up a dialog box. From the options provided, you can input the number of columns and rows that you need. So the columns is five. I made the rows five. I click OK. If along the line you need to add more columns and rows, put your cursor in the last cell and click the tab key to add to the table. If for any reason you want to move the table, at the top left hand side you see this plus sign. Put your cursor there and drag it to where you want it to be. So I undo. If you want to format your table, click on the table, go to table layout. Let's say you want your text in the table to be at a particular position in the table. You put in the text, highlight the table, go to alignment group and select by default is, is aligned to left. You may choose to center it or to bring it to the right. In this tutorial, I will leave it at the center for the main time. So it has aligned all the text to the center. And if I type anything now, it will be centered. To increase or decrease the cell size, go to the cell size group, you highlight, then you either increase or decrease the cell size. As for the cell width, you either increase or decrease depending on what you want to do. To change the font or text size, go to Home tab, highlight the text you want to change the font or size. From the font, select the font you want to use. And then to increase or decrease the size, use this A to increase the size and use this one to decrease the size. You can as well use the paragraph group to adjust the position of the text in the cells. Now we are at center. You can bring it back to left or send it to right. All the formatting can as well be applied to only selected cells. For example, we want to apply it to only these two. We can send these two to the left, center, depending on how we want it to be. To merge cells in the table, go to table layout, highlight the cells you want to merge, go to merge cells, click on it to merge the cells. You can as well merge the columns, highlight it, go to merge cells, and make it one big cell. To center text in a merge cell, go to layout tab, put in the text you want to center, put your cursor in front of the text, select center. You can as well do this from the home tab. To split cells, put your cursor in the cell you want to split. Go to table layout, Click on split cell icon. A dialog box will pop up. Put the option you want. That is the number of columns and rows 
you want the cells to be splitted into. I will make the columns to be three. Since we have four rows here, so the, four, the rows must be four. So I put in four. So it has splitted here into three columns and four rows. To resize a column or row, I put my cursor on the next line to the row or column, drag it to the left to decrease the size or move it to the right to increase the size. And if it is for the row, drag it up to reduce the size or bring it down to increase the size. To make all the cells equal, highlight the cells from table layout, select distribute columns. Click on it. This will equalize the height and the width of the table. To have the text to go around the table or to go to the left or right of the table, I click on the table, select table properties. If I want it to go to the right, I click on right, then I select OK. This will move the table to the right. And if I want it to be at the center, select table properties, click on the center, and then the table will be centered. When I want it to go to the left, I select left and click OK. The table will go to the left. And if I want the text to go around the table, I right click, select table properties, select round, and then the text will go around the table. Let's say I adjust it. Then the table will be in the middle of the text. To make space in between this table and text, I click here and click enter. This will give us space in between the table and the text. To change the weight, style or color of the table borders, I go to table design. This line is line style. Click on the drop down. I select the style of the line that I need. Then this is line width. Click here. Select the width. To change the color, I click on pen color and choose any color I desire. I highlight the table. I click on borders. Select all borders. This will apply the necessary changes to the borders. To check a cell or a particular section in the table, I highlight, click on the drop down here as shading, then I choose the color I want to use to shade the table. Highlight the row, click on the drop down as well. I can shade and only a cell, highlight it, Click on the drop down shade. To remove the shading, highlight, go to design, click on shading, select no color. This will remove the color from the cells. To change the color of the text from home tab, from this icon, click on the drop down, then you can pick your choice. So I hope you've gotten some value from this tutorial. If you have, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon so YouTube will notify you once I drop a new video. Do share this video with family and friends. Have a wonderful day.